Thank you very much, Dr. Subhash Chandra Biswas, for introducing and uh, kind introduction. And I, I actually could not uh, uh, say thank you to everyone. Though we had uh, inauguration, but uh, as we were running out of time, possibly of time, I could not say thank you to everyone, especially BOGS. Yes, but do you want to do that? I have to add one. 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 I have to Dr. Sumir Gupta, Dr. Rajiv Chawla, Dr. Shalini Jaggi, everyone, and uh, our uh, DRW, uh, Dr. Vijay Patni, Dr. Ahmed Sanok, Dr. Sukhra Bhattacharya, taking the uh, lead for two things, MOS and uh, DRW. So thank you very much, everyone, for joining me here, uh, joining me here. So I start my uh, topic of preconception management of uh, diabetic patients. I will not waste much of the time and I will try to keep it very practical and very fast as uh, we are already today. And, and we have discussed a lot. Uh, already in the last session was also many things about uh, preconception management or the prevention of diabetes. So why we need to uh, do the pre conception counseling or preconception management of a, uh, of a patient because the patient who is already diabetic, maybe type 1 diabetic or type 2 diabetic, the problem is, sir, this is the commonest thing, sir, as Dr. Sumit Gupta adds every time in his slide and he could not, so I did it. Every time it is like, sir, that is at that time, there is a type 1 diabetic patient and type 2 diabetic patient, and they come up with an HPMC of more than 8, 9, or sometimes more than 11 percent. And what we need to do, and, and our gynecologists, our obstetricians, and sometimes ask us that uh, whether this lady uh, would be able to deliver uh, the baby or not. But we have seen some miraculous cases. Definitely, we can deliver if, if we start controlling blood sugar as soon as possible. So when, uh, why we need to do this uh, preconceptional counseling? If the patient knows that what kind of complications they are going to get if they they have uh, pre-gestational diabetes and if it is not controlled, we already talk what kind of complications are there going to be with the uh, pregnant uh, with the lady. So maternal complications we know that spontaneous abortion, fetal anomalies, preeclampsia. Uh, fetal demise, microsomia, neonatal hypoglycemia, hyperbilirubinemia, neonatal respiratory distress syndrome. These are maternal complications and uh, in the future for baby it is going to be uh, obesity, hypertension and type 2 diabetes and very early age. We have seen the cases where the gestational diabetic mother who is uh, delivering baby and, and at age of 15, 16 or 20 years of age they are getting diabetic or PCOS or many metabolic problems. <coughs> this is why we need to counsel in a preconceptional pre period only. So when to, when to counsel as soon as possible. Uh, we need to counsel and we need to manage that diabetes as soon as possible. So uh, for that we have a thought. Uh, we all uh, know about the story of Abhimanyu. Abhimanyu who was there in the womb of her mother and uh, Abhimanyu is the son of Arjuna, you all must be aware of and he learned that six chakra view, how to break this uh, six chakra view and he learned this from the womb. So our religion explains us and teaches us that there is something uh, beyond uh, the life. So the baby when, when it is born, before that we are going to give such kind of environment that, that can prevent the metabolic syndrome and metabolic problems. So, uh, and to achieve this, uh, diabetes free generation also focus, fetus on, uh, focus on the fetus for the future. I, I guess uh, since last uh, two days, this sentence has been repeated more than uh, 50 times or more than that, I don't know. 
but uh, uh, we can't stop saying this as we go and we have many evidences now. So, Dr. Professor Vises here, we are really thankful to him to provide us all uh, beautiful quotes uh, by evidence. So, pre-existing diabetes and pregnancy, if we see uh, uh, whether it is the major uh, congenital malformations, still burn, near the mortality or perinatal mortality, type 1 and type 2 diabetes at almost uh, 1.5 fold higher mortality and complications are there with pre-existing diabetes. This is why we need uh, pre-conceptional counseling. So fortunately with organized uh, management and straight blood glucose control, a healthy pregnancy is now achievable, we know. And today it is all about achieving tight control over blood sugar that we make those of non-diabetics which ensure a healthy baby. So starting at puberty, and so when to start? Let's start at the puberty and continuing in all women with diabetes and reproductive potential, preconception and counseling should be incorporated into routine diabetes care. Family planning should be discussed and effective uh, contraception with consideration of long acting reversible contraception should be prescribed and used until a woman's treatment regimen and HbA1c are optimized for uh, pregnancy. So what should be the glycemic target? It, it may be six, uh, less than 6.5. Earlier we used to tell less than 7%. Now it is less than 6.5. But I would say we can even achieve less than 6% as, the, as we have the drugs, miraculous drugs since last uh, few years. I would say uh, since last one decade. We have SGLT2 inhibitors, we have DPP4 inhibitors, or we can say now we have available uh, GLP1 receptor agonists. Apparently, they, they don't cause severe hypoglycemia or no hypoglycemia at all in uh, obese patients or in non diabetic patients. Even we have seen some of the molecules like GLP1 receptor agonists, they don't cause severe hypoglycemia. The yes, patient may get sometimes a little hungry uh, when the, uh, the medicine uh, stops uh, uh, working. So, preconception counseling should address the importance of uh, achieving glucose level as close to normal as uh, is safely possible, ideally HbA1c 6 or 6.5, to reduce the risk of congenital anomalies, preeclampsia, macrosomia, uh, preterm birth, and other complications. Preconception care already has been talked a lot about multidisciplinary uh, clinic and multidisciplinary team approach that includes a diabetologist, maternal, fetal medicine specialist, registered dietitian, and nutritionist, and diabetes care and uh, educators. The one thing that we lack in our country, though we have uh, through NDEP program and multiple diabetes educators program, we have produced a lot of uh, diabetes educators, but none of them are working dedicatedly to diabetes. Most of our uh, diabetes educators, they get, uh, they get certified in their work either as general nurse or general nutritionist, but they don't work as specially for diabetes because they are almost underpaid. So we need such kind of approach where diabetes educators role should be improvised. So checklist for preconception care for women with diabetes where pre-pregnancy counseling for pre-existing diabetes and pre-diabetes where educate and obtain maximum cooperation from both partners, OBGYNs and uh, diabetologists and endocrinologists, advice to try for attainment of uh, ideal body weight prior to conception, obtain optimum uh, dietary control before conception. Uh, I already talked less than 6.5 if it is possible. Associated with the lowest risk of congenital anomalies, uh, preeclampsia and preterm birth. Uh, check for thyroid function, check for immune status against rubella. This all things are obstetric management, and you guys do it beautifully. And this is your uh, body aid. multidisciplinary approach. I already talked. And if the lady with type 2 diabetes is on oral hypoglycemic agent, it is ideally uh, 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 they should be switched to insulin if pregnancy is planned at least before uh, one and a half to two months. <laughs> if it is possible, 
most preventive pre-existing diabetes will need to be on a basal molar system. And I would say 100% of the patients with type 1 or type 2 diabetes require basal bolus insulin and I don't actually uh, promote pre-mix insulin so I will not talk about that. <coughs> Classification of insulin regimens and preparations already beautifully explained by Dr. Sukhya Gupta sir in uh, morning talk. Uh, the basal bolus, bolus insulin or pre-mix insulin, prandial insulin, we have many options now for prandial uh, insulins as well. Preconception care to optimize control of blood pressure in pregnancy, safe anti-hypertensive agents like methylopa, levetiracetam, and nifedipine. Stop ACE inhibitors, ARVs, and thiazides. Stop setting. Don't forget that dilated, uh, dilated fundus uh, fun examination should be performed and photocoagulation offered if the lady with diabetes is heavy, severe. Uh, uh, NPDR or PDR. So diabetic retinopathy is one of the uh, complication which increases during uh, pregnancy, the severity increases. So role of uh, preconception and inter-pregnancy counseling care where patient education establish health lifestyle, diabetes management plan and <coughs> optimized glycemic control is needed for the goals of preconception care for individuals with uh, pre-gestational diabetes. So insulin requirement during pregnancy that uh, topic has already been covered, but <coughs> I want to re-emphasize that insulin requirements usually fall during the first trimester of pregnancy and gradually increases uh, thereafter. In type 1 uh, complicating pregnancy, the usual dose is 0 0.7 uh, units per kg body weight and in first trimester uh, 0 0.8 unit per kg body weight at week 18 at uh, week 26 and 1 unit per kg body weight at 36 weeks. Usually we see in Indian patient insulin requirement is uh, on lower side than our uh, western world. So this is the basal molus regimen how you can start uh, this is the simple manual. You can start with 50% of basal and 50% of bolus. But in, uh, in uh, 2 GTM or type 2 diabetes, it is uh, uh, gradually we need more uh, bolus insulin than basal insulin in most of the cases. So these are the targets after pregnancy, but, but during the pregnancy, uh, before pregnancy, pre-conceptional counseling, if you want to achieve less than 6.5% uh, of hp then we need to target fasting blood glucose less than 100 at least, and post meal blood sugar less than 140 or 150. But in type 1 diabetes, we may, we may uh, lose this uh, targets as many of our type 1 diabetes before pregnancy, they, they get severe hypoglycemia if we try to achieve HbOnc less than 6.5. So with this, I'll summarize that preconception plans should include nutrition and medication plan to achieve glycemic targets prior to conception, including appropriate implementation of monitoring, continuous glucose monitoring and pump technology, a uh, contraceptive plan to prevent pregnancy until glycemic control are achieved. A management plan for general health, the gynecological concerns, uh, comorbid conditions or complications if present include hypertension, including hypertension, nephropathy, retinopathy, RH incompatibility and thyroid dysfunction. So thank you very much.